Okay, for today's problem, we have find the missing dimension x. Well, before I can find the missing dimension, I need to think about what kind of object I have here. When I look at this object, I can see it's a three-dimensional object. All right, three-dimensional. The reason why I know it's three-dimensional is because it looks like something I can pick up. Anything that is three-dimensional is something that we can pick up three-dimensional and if you know hopefully you know if you don't know the three dimensions of a three-dimensional object are the length the width and the height before you can really get into this problem you have to identify which measurements are which right and so we have a triangular prism here and the length is the long side so we're going to say this 15 inches here is the length so I'm going to put L, length equals 15 inches. I look for the height next because I know height is something that's measured in a vertical fashion. So this line right here, this is going to be the missing dimension here, the height. X here is the height. This is what we're going to need to find when we solve the problem. The width is going to be this last dimension here that we haven't marked yet. The width is going to be six and a half inches or six and five tenths inches. And they gave us the volume of this three-dimensional shape. Remember, this shape is called a triangular prism. Triangular prism. To find the missing dimension of a triangular prism, we need to know what is the equation for the volume of a triangular prism. And the way that I like to think of a triangular prism is or triangulars in triangles in general, is that triangles are half of rectangles. So if I have a triangle here, it's half of a rectangle, right? And so if we have a triangular prism that we're trying to find the volume of, we're actually going to find the volume of the triangular prism first, or the volume of the rectangular prism, the length, width, and the height. And then we're going to divide that by 2, divide it in half to find the volume of the triangular prism. So the equation that we're going to be working with today is volume is equal to length times width times height. And since it's this triangular prism, like I said, it's going to be half of a rectangular prism, length times width times height. To find this missing dimension, we're going to plug in all the knowns. We know the length here is 15 inches. We know the width is six and a half inches or six and five tenths. The height is what we don't know, the x, how tall it is. So I'm going to leave the variable h there and then finish out the equation with the divide by two because it's half of a rectangular prism. And then they gave us this other measurement. This big V is the volume. It's what the, the whole shape holds, 390 inches cubed is the volume there. So to solve for this missing angle, what we're going to use is inverse operation. Inverse operation is what allows us to move one operation from one side of the equal sign to the other side of the equal sign. So we're first going to take this divide two, use inverse operation, put it to the other side of the equal sign, and inverse means opposite. So we're going to take the, the 390 and do the opposite of divide two, multiply two, we just moved it to the other side, and we still have this 15 times 6.5 times h, what we're trying to find. Now, I can make this more simple here by, by going ahead and solving some of this stuff here. Um, 390 times 2 is going to be 780. I can do 15 times 6.5 to make it more simple over here. 15 times 6.5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 plus 1 plus 5 times 1 plus 2 is 7. Put my placeholder to multiply this. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 1 plus 3 is 9. Add this all up, I get 975. Don't forget this decimal. 97 and a half. So I just simplified these two to 97 and a half times the height, what we're, we're trying to find. Now we're going to continue to use our inverse operation, which means the opposite. 
We're gonna put this to the other side. The opposite of multiply is divide. So we have 780 that we're gonna divide by 97 and a half. And when we do that, that's gonna give us the height here. So 780 divided by 97 and a half. When I'm doing these big old division problems, big numbers, I like to estimate. First, I need to remember I can't have a decimal in the divisor, so I need to move it one time on the outside. If I do that, I gotta do it on the inside. So it's really 7,800 divided by 975. Well, this is about 1,000. This is about 8,000. So I'm gonna say 1,000 goes into 8,000 about eight times. 900, or um, yeah, 975 times eight. We have 40, carry the four, 56 plus four is 60. 72 plus six is 78. So it goes in exactly eight times. So there we have it. We found that our missing dimension, the height, is eight inches. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Talk to you later.